pop. Oh, look, here's a fun little craft you can make at home and make a bunny craft. And all you need is a picture of you, stamp your little footsies in some paint, and cut out a bunny cutout where you're gonna glue on some cotton to make this really fun bunny craft. Let's do it together. Come on. That's gonna be cool. I'm doing um, little bunny paws. That's gonna be super cute. I'm gonna make it kind of soft and gloomy. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What do you even think about that? you bunny you made. That's enough fun bunny. Now let's do a next one. You got it. Here's another really fun bunny craft you can make at home and make your own bunny toy. And all you need are socks, some rice, and then some string to tie it all up. We had so much fun doing this craft. We made so many bunnies. And they're so fun to hold and press and squeeze and play along with. And you can design them however you want. So let's make some together. Come on. Two double scoops. Why? Because you got two scoops. Let's sit down. I want to enter how hot I is. I done my soup at Ooh, that's perfect. Okay, They're tall. That's a tall bunny also. Why are you going to tie it? I'm going to tie it to kind of keep it closed. We're going to close it up this way. Does that work? Let me do some holes for the whiskers. Hop, hop, hello. Hello, hello there, bunny. Hello, hello. And I'm also going to draw another one. Okay. It's beautiful. Let's create a fun little sticky frame together for a little nature scavenger hunt. We'll just need some popsicle sticks, some tape, some stickies or glue to keep the sticks together, and that's it. Let's make it together. Come on. Here's a fun activity you can make. If you use some big popsicle sticks and stickies to create a frame, and then we'll add tape to make one side sticky. First, let's put on these stickies and put this frame together. Look at this square we made. I'll use this to prop it up and we'll use sticky tape Now we made a little sticky frame. Get this out of the way. Now we made a little sticky frame and it's sticky on one side, but not sticky on the other. And you can take it outside and as you find pretty flowers or leaves, you can stick them on making a really pretty picture. We'll add some clover leaves. This red leaf. I found this beautiful flower outside. Let's 
see what else. How about this green leaf? And some more cute clovers. There you go. Thanks for making a nature frame with me. Very big. Like this big. So big? It's gonna be so big. And like this. And it's flat me in the belly. Baby. I already found the leaf. Well, let me see. You want to stick it on? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Great leaf. What else do you see? More leaves. Okay, you want to stick them on? Yeah. It was already so much. Yeah. You want to stick them on, my friend? Yeah. You ready? I have one. That's a great one. Two. One, two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. I love it. You want to pick up some more? One in the dirt. Let's try to play here. Did you want to slide down? Yeah. Okay. Well, my hand, little uh, mama bunny. You ready? Wow! Yes, <laughs> run, 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 I can yeah. use maybe some carrots growing. What carrots? And tomatoes. Here's another fun activity you can do at home and make your own grocery bag that you can take to the grocery store or the farmer's market. And you just need a little bag. And then you can do stickers or cut these out. And then decorate your bag with fruits and vegetables. Let's see, we'll use a watermelon, a carrot, an avocado. And how about a tomato? a plum, and a banana. That's gonna be very cute. Let's make it together. You can use stickers, like I said, or get these little stickies that you can put onto your fruit and vegetables and then stick it on to your bag. Here we go. Let's add a few more. Now you can you have your own grocery bag that you can take to the store with you and you can decorate it however you like. I hope you have fun. Um, yeah. Here and then with this part. Can we get it? There you go. And you can stick it to the bag. Very cute. Okay. I didn't put an egg on there, but I think yours would be very cute with an egg. Would you like another sticky? Yeah. Here you go. Drink. Cute. What you, else? You just do it. Okay, how about a broccoli? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Let's do a fun activity and create little bug friends together. I've got a little ladybug and a little bumblebee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. We'll need some rocks, paint, and some googly eyes. Come on. Here's another fun activity you can do if you find some rocks. And you can grab them, collect them, and then paint them. How about we paint this one red? We'll grab some red paint. Ooh, and how about this one? We'll do yellow. I'll grab a little black paint and a small thin brush. And we can do polka dots here and turn this rock into a little ladybug. And what if we do little stripes here and turn this rock into a little bumblebee? Buzz, 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 bumblebee. And then you can use the paint to draw little eyes. Boop, 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 and a smile. Or you can use the googly eyes. Oh, one, two, 
cute and make silly animals out of rocks. Buzz, 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 buzz. I'm gonna make a bumblebee. All right, let's grab another rock. This rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You want me to hold the rock for you? Pink, 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 pink. I, I, not. Cute. Hello. I'm gonna do a little red, and then I'm gonna see what it makes on to the yellow. Sure. What does it all make? Let's see. It kind of looks orangish, red and yellow like that. Here's another fun activity you can do at home, and you can make it as a gift for somebody if you'd like. And all you need are some flat wooden ornaments. You can get them at a hobby store and some Mod Podge, it's kind of like glue. And then some pictures. And what we're gonna do is outline the pictures to fit the ornament, and then create our own ornaments with pictures. Let's do it together. I'll place this here. And then we'll cut it out. Woohoo! And then it should fit right onto your ornament. And all we're going to do is brush some Mod Podge on. And then let's brush this on. And that's going to glue the picture to it. And then to seal it, we're just going to put the Mod Podge on top. And that's going to seal it. And you, then you can have this ornament on your tree for years to come. And this is a great gift you can give to your grown-ups, to your mom and dad, or grandma and grandpas. All right. And then let's seal it. All right, and then all we have to do is just let it dry and then we'll add some string and hang it on our tree. I got the tree! Yay! Now we need our <laughs> Here's a fun craft you can do at home if you get a hard hat. A lot of time construction workers need to make sure they're wearing a hard hat so they can be safe on the construction site. So if there's any cranes or anything moving, any tools, they can stay nice and protected. So we have our hard hat, hard hat, and we can decorate it with some construction stickers. Here we go, I got a dump truck. And this one's got a lot of rocks in it. Let's see, where should we put it? How about right here? Fun! All right, I got this sticker with a sign. It says, work zone, work zone. That's where the construction workers work. And they put out these signs to let, the, let you know, hey, we're in here working. We're in here doing important stuff. Let's see what else we've got. Ooh, here we go, I've got a steamroller. That one just rolls the pavement down and smooths it. Oh, how about a cone? Got this orange cone. They put out cones to let you know, hey, we're doing some dangerous work in here. Make sure you're being really careful. Dig, dig, dig. Here comes our excavator. Coming over, excavator. And let's place it, how about right here? Fun! See, I've got a detour sign. Sometimes when construction workers are working on a road, they'll put out detour signs saying, hey, we're working on this road right now, but you can take a detour. That means go this other way to get to your destination. But we'll put it here. I love it. See, I already put these ones, but let's just use them because they're fun. And stickers are fun. Here we go. Looks like I have room for one more. I don't think our dump truck will fit. But how about this cone? All right, let's peel it. 
Oh, it's not coming off. Sometimes stickers can be so tricky. You gotta peel and work hard at it. Kind of like construction workers, they gotta try again sometimes and work really hard and practice and practice and practice. <gasps> we did it! Because we can do hard things. All right, look at this hat we made together. Now we'll put it on so we'll be nice and safe and we're ready to work with our tools. I'm going to put my little stitcher on my hard hat for stretching so I'm sewing. Good idea. So it takes to know, oh, that's what it is. It's from that stretching plate. Right. That's good thinking. So it's a sign. I'm going to put a, a whole three of blocks. Oh, yeah, I like that. So they know that we don't fall right here. Yeah. How about construction workers have to make sure they wear their hard hat because they're working around so many kind of hard and heavy things, right? Mm. Yeah, so they got to keep their heads protected, kind of like a helmet. I thought of this thing someday pulling in mine. Oh, I love it. Hey, it's going to be so cute when I show you. I'm so excited. Now it's decorated. Check what I got on it. OK, let me see. Oh, wow. Signs, cones, boulders, construction vehicles. You want to put them on? Mm. Yeah? Whoa! We're so safe. Here's a fun ghost craft that you could do at home if you ask a grown-up for help. What do we need to make it? A pool noodle. Let's do a pool noodle. And a tomato and a witchy and the mouth out. And it's, let's do it. We'll put this pool noodle on. Yeah. And then, if you have a white sheet, you can just throw it over to make the ghost. And then if you have some black felt, you can cut out two eyes. Wait, I actually have them already cut out on this side. Ready? Yeah. It's gonna be a surprise. Ghost. Boo, boo. Does it look like ghost over here? Yeah. And pull it over this way. Boo. And you know what's kind of silly and tricky? Ghosts say boo. And we spell it out with B-O-O, -O, boo. When we see two O's together like this, that makes the oo sound like boo. And if we add a T at the end, it'll spell out boot. Is that silly? What about the sound moo? That starts with the letter M, two O's for moo. Moo. If we add an N at the end of that, it'll spell out moon. That's so silly. What other words do we know with ooh sound like that? Let's Let's think. Pool. Pool. Hey, pool. Noodle. Those both have the O's. Cool. School. Mommy, where? What else letter can we put at the end? And then, and then we'll see it. Um, let's think. Okay, well, if we take the word cool, that's C-O-O-L, cool. But if we change the C to a P, then it'll spell pool. Is that nifty? Pool? Pool, yeah, with a P-O-O-L. When the two O's are together like that, they're like giving each other a hug going, ooh, cool, cool. Here's another fun activity you can do at home and make your own kazoo. Kazoo, it's a silly word, but it's a little musical instrument that you blow into and then it makes this fun sound. And you can make one at home Let's see what we need. You need a cardboard tube. You can get this from the paper towel roll or you can get a small one from a toilet paper roll. If you get a long one, you can cut it in half. And let's see, we'll also need a rubber band. It's like a hair tie, stretchy rubber band. And some wax paper. So 
I'll cut a little piece. Let's see. Then we just need one. You want to take the wax paper and put it over the cardboard roll and put the rubber band over it to kind of keep it tight, keep it in place. And with your grown-ups help, make a hole in the tube. And then you just blow into this part. Ready? Here's another fun activity you can do that you can also make into a really fun gift for your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. And what you wanna do is head over to a fabric store or a hobby store and you can get some fleece. And then we're gonna put them together, cut the edges, tie them and make a blanket. And then you can have it to keep yourself warm in the car or at home, or you can gift it to somebody. Let's make it together. All right, I've laid our fleece together and lined them up. And all I'm gonna do is make some cuts on the edges and then tie those together so you don't need sewing machine or anything else. You can just find the fleece you like and make a fun blanket. And this is a great present you can make again for yourself or for somebody you love. You can even make little blankets for your toys or dolls or even make a little pillowcase. And so you have a little blanket and a matching pillowcase. But once you tie up all of the corners, that's it. Look at our blanket we made together. How cool. Thanks so much for making gifts with me. Back it up into this blanket. Back it up, back it up. Whoa. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Yeah, little kittens. You'll be nice and warm in the winter. Hello, welcome to the picnic. Are you looking for a frog? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Hey, hi. Or a crab? Walk, walk. Can I pinch your finger? You can hold here. Okay. Here's another fun activity we can do. I have a little plant pot where we plant some plants. I got some paint and a couple of paint brushes. I was thinking together we can paint this pot and then we can plant a plant in it and this could be a really cute gift that you can give to your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or teacher or a friend. You can make your own painted pot and then give them a nice plant or a flower. So let's paint this one together. Let's see, we'll grab a paintbrush and first we'll use some pink and we'll just do cute little designs. How about a little zigzag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. That's fun. Let's see, maybe some purple. And we can do some Cool thing about crafts is you can do whatever you'd like and make it any design that you want to as long as you're having fun. You can also paint your hand and then do a handprint on it, which would be also really cool. Let's do a blue line. That's cute. Let's see, I'll use a different brush for our white paint. Let's see, and we'll just do some dots, dot, 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 dot. That's cute. Then I can do, ooh, how about yellow? And we'll draw a little sun. I'll do a circle and we'll do line, line, line coming out of it. That's cute. Do we have any more space? Oh, we do. How about this orange paint? And we'll do lines going this way. Line, 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 line. Wow, look at that. We made a really cute little pot for a plant. And you can plant a flower in it or a cute plant. You can even do 
an edible plant. I have some plants that we can plant in our pot, and this is basil. This is a tomato plant, and you can plant them and then put them in your kitchen if you'd like, and then when you need to cook with some basil or need some tomatoes, they'll be right there in your kitchen. Let's plant our tomato plant. I'll take it out of this container. Here we go, we took it out and I'll place it in here. Pop. Now we just need to fill it up with some soil. I've got some soil in here and a little shovel. Let's see, we'll fill it up, dig, pour some in. Dig, pour some in. Dig, pour some in. I'm making a little bit of a mess. Sometimes it can be tricky, kind of hard to pour things in, but you know what? We can do hard things. I'll take some deep breaths. <sighs> oh, maybe I'll take a deep breath like a cow. You wanna do it with me? Moo! Here we go. We can do hard things. And it's all right to make a mess because we can clean it up. Here we go. Now we've got our own tomato plant. And you can have your own tomato plant for you, or you can gift it to someone you love. And they can put it in their kitchen and grow their own tomatoes. Now that this is planted, I'll move it to the side and we can clean this up. Clean up, clean up, everybody let's clean up, clean up, clean up, clean your mess up. Clean up, clean up, we can clean up, yes we can, yes we can, because we can clean up. All right, and I'll put this in my soil bin. Here we go. Thank you for helping me. Dip your paintbrush in the colors and then paint all around. Or you could put paint on your hand and do a cute hand stamp. That's beautiful. An orange pinky. Stamp my pinky. Oh yeah, you can do a little finger stamp. That's cute. And then I'll show you what I did after once you paint it. Take this out. And then you can put this in here. Put it in. Good work. And then you can grab a little soil. And then put that into the pot to fill it up. Fill it up. Get you some more. Here you go. Yeah! That's okay. You know what? That happened to me too. And I said, that's okay to make a mess because we can clean it up. Let me do it now. Okay, let's do it. Here, let me turn it. Here we go. Let me get all the drops. Yeah, let's clean it up together. You ready? 